Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Auburn's been hitting on all cylinders the last few games. They've ripped off a string of W's, trying to extend that streak, but the key is keeping Big Mo on your side. Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Sims is lined up to kick this one off and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game and he'll return this one from the seventh and he's tackled at the 33 yard line the Tigers know that they can give this guy the ball Kirk 25 30 times a game and that's great and if it's working that's perfect but also as a defensive team you look at him and you go we worry about him too much we could get burned somewhere else well the defensive coach has told us this week the first thing that they have to do is stop this running game and when, when you're convinced you have to stop the running game you leave your defensive backs especially your corners isolated one-on-one -on -one in coverage and if they're smart they'll try to take advantage of that and try to make some big plays in the passing game maybe early and then go back to old reliable and that's running the football They get nice yardage on that run. This is so difficult to defend. Well, this is a perfect illustration of how to run the option, and it was perfect enough to get the first right there. He goes out of bounds. Right around the 48-yard line. That makes it second and ten. Down he goes at the 44. That's good for a gain of eight yards. Right, 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 right. That'll bring up third and two. By 40, by 40, check, check. He's coming, he's coming. Easy, 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 easy. 18, go. Red, go. Nice run, and he's brought down. the ball right tackle at the 35 call it a gain of three yards that'll make it second and seven from the 35 yard line second down Quick shot, the defender tips it away. Your instincts tell you to go for the pick. You've got to make the best play you can, and sometimes it's just batting the ball away. Here's the eighth play of the series. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's hit and taken down. They get a one-yard loss on that one. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Lloyd, he'd like to change field position with his punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Looks 
Looking for his man, incomplete. This quarterback needs to be careful not to use his arm strength to try to force things because that's when mistakes happen. From their own 20-yard line, second down. And he's out of bounds. That's a loss. Quick strike to the back, and he drops it. Mantis was the intended target, and that'll bring up a punting situation. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Mason is the punter. Oh, what a hit. Pretty good job by the return man there. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. He's at the 30. They'll bring him down at the 25-yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. Run it again. Nice run there. Cox gains about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. Throws quick to the receiver and falls incomplete. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Quick throw. Touchdown, Auburn! He makes the PAT. A four-play, 41-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. So the score now, 7-0. to kick. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 30. Auburn's loving this crowd support, and they get it week in and week out. Well, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue that. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Rose. That's incomplete. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver and maybe every other member of this offense. The wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it. Let's move on to the next play. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. So the coach challenges the call, and they're going to try to determine if the receiver made the catch inbounds. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll have a chance to take a second look at it and determine if he really was inbounds when he caught the ball. Well, the side judge was standing right there, so I'd be surprised if he missed that call. So after some discussion, the call on the field stands. From their own 45-yard line, it's first down. He's tackled at about the 47-yard line. That makes it 62. Here we go! Ryan, 68! Got an opening! Good outside run there. The thing I love about this guy is he can throw the ball, he can run it. Man, that's hard to stop. 
He's taken down at the 40-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. Complete brought down, nothing doing. A couple of yards at most on that pass. This kid's just a sophomore. He'll learn how to break those short catches in the big games. Try to change the field position with this kick. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. The Tigers really taking care of business early in this football game. Yeah, somebody forgot to tell them that they're the big underdog in this game and they're supposed to lose. I love their confidence that they're playing with right now. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. And they tackle him at the 44. Auburn is up by a touchdown. They'll work the left. And he's taken down at the 32-yard line. We've played one. The Tigers lead 7-0. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Mike 40, Mike 40. I can't believe they let you play. I can't believe they let you play. Runs it right. Nice pickup. That's good to do it. Five yards. That makes it second and six. I got you, punk. Mike 40, Mike 40. Check that. He's coming. He's coming. Run it up. Sacked. Also six six yards yards on the That'll make it fourth and ten. ten. It back to return it. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Push him out at the 25. That brings him second and five. Larry, Larry, Larry. My five. Check, check. Red 18. Red 18. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Game seven on the play. That makes it first and ten. the stop at the 35-yard line.
to that quickly. Illegal touching. Offense. Little stumbles like these can Still kill your ahead. offensive progress. From their own 30-yard line, it's third down. Five wide. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. And he's tackled at about the 35. Jones fields at the 30. He's tackled at the 42 yard line. Nice yardage on the run back. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Auburn is up seven. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 49. Fires back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. left, biting his tailback. Brought down around the 32-yard line. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's, Let's check out the penalty. Clipping. Offense. Well, that penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, they could just keep their concentration. They'll avoid situations like that. And so it's second down and 15 after the penalty. Auburn up seven points. Tackle made around the 39 yard line. So they're going to go for it here. Decided to go for it, but the defense slammed the door on him. That's the definition of coming through when it matters most. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Throws it in a hurry. And down he goes at about the 43-yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Check line, check line. 
He's at the 30. Tackle at the 28. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. It's complete, and he's leveled at the 13-yard line. That's good for a game of 15 yards. Check, check. First down. Snake on. Hey. Snake on. Hey, check 24. Watch 24. Let's go. Line 80. Line. Yeah. Back, 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 back. Slings it. Touchdown, Wildcats. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A four-play, 56-yard drive, and they put up seven points. We're even at seven in this one. They're probably just going to squib this kick. I don't think they want to see the return man create lightning before halftime. He'll return it from the six. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. We played a half of football. We get a tie game at 7-7. And the second half just about set to get started. We're dead even. Gathered in at the six. He makes it to the 25-yard line. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Quick pass. Excellent open field tackle. First down. Seven yard line. That was a good reaction to the blitzing linebacker. That's what you like to see out of a young quarterback. He just has to ignore the pressure and get the ball out of there on time. And it's caught. He's at the 30. He's tackled at the 21 yard line. That's good for a gain of 26 yards. First down. Yeah, let's get Catches it, and he's looking for more. It's on a move. Touchdown. touchdown pass. It's a nice job by the quarterback of showing great patience here, going through his progressions, finally finding the back to get into the end zone. Boy, that had to be a miscue of some kind or a mental error by the defense. This wide receiver was just too open for there not to be some kind of mistake by the defense. I'm sure the defensive coordinator is going to want to get his defense on the sidelines and to make sure everybody's on the same page. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The footballs fly all over the lot in the Big 12. And for Texas Tech, power and speed delivering a rushing touchdown. Texas Tech leads it 14-10. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. At the 30. Knocked out of bounds around the 31-yard line. 
Kentucky, it's the type of team when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers. The way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage, I think it's giving them confidence and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Hey. Looking for his man, incomplete. Second and ten. From their own 31 yard line. Second down. And he hits him hard at the 34. Call it a game of three yards. That makes it third and seven. And he makes it out to about the 37 yard line. Lloyd awaits the snap. They'll bring him down at the 38-yard line. Auburn's a team that nobody gave a chance today, but they're right where they want to be. I think just the mindset of this football team, they need to be complimented for that because it's easy to come in, be a bit intimidated, be a bit overwhelmed. They've put that to the side, gone out and executed, and I think the longer they've stayed in this game, the more confidence that it's instilled. Kentucky is up a score. Dumps it complete over the middle. He's taken down at the 49-yard line. First down. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Got it. Tight ends got the first. And he's taken down at the 38. That makes it first and ten. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Man left, man left. Two down, two down. Mike five, Mike five. Let's go. Green, I'm regular, five. regular, regular. Green, regular. Green, regular. Green, regular. Green, regular. That's a great tackle at the 31. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Up the middle for a nice game. Game of seven yards. First down. From the 24-yard line. First down. He steps out right around the 20. That's a game of four. Kentucky is up by a touchdown. And he is drilled at the 29. Another third down here. And that one's incomplete. Number two, the intended receiver on the play. That brings us fourth and 15. Road, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. And the defense comes through. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. 
But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And they got him for a loss. No game of play. That makes it second and ten. They get nice yardage on that run. Gaining four yards. That makes it third and seven. 45, 45. G is 21. G is 21. Help him, help him. Easy, 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 easy. Easy, easy, easy. Easy, easy, easy. Easy, easy, easy. Gets out to about the 48 yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it second and six. He gets out to about the 44 yard line. Could be a shocker. 14-7, Wildcats. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Hey, we're going Mike 40, Mike 40. Let's go! Let's go. Under heavy pressure. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. Pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. He tackles him for a loss. That is a loss of two yards. That'll make it third and one. Here's the 11th play of the drive. He gets out to about the 12 yard line. It's a ball, left side. Touchdown, Auburn! This is what an offensive lineman hopes for. An opportunity to impose his will on the defense. 
They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He makes the PAT. White has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Brooks takes it from the six. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. Now he's flushed, and they got it. This is second and long. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Across the middle, tight end's got it. Brought down at about the 31. That'll bring up third and two. Five wide. Gets to around the 42. Just under three to go in regulation. There's a strike complete. Brought down in the open field. That brings him second and five. Tackle in space. Number 14 brings him down at the 47 yard line. Man left, man left. That makes it first and 10. Mike five. Mike five. Check, check. Line eight. Mathis gets the ball. to his tight end. Nothing doing. This is the eighth play of this drive. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Quick throw, incomplete. One of his receivers. Made at the 18. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Flares it and it almost had it intercepted. Number 18, the intended receiver on the play. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. A little over a minute in the game. He's out of bounds around the 26-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. made at the 30-yard line. They come out of an empty backfield. It's 
the sophomore one that's got it. And he's hit immediately. First down grab by the receiver. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 45. Matthews picks up six yards with that grab. Heads up play by the quarterback to find his receiver in traffic and get the ball into his hands. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap and he threw it right out there. Got a man complete and he's hit hard. Six-yard line. They'll make the sack. Loss of nine yards on the play. That'll make it second and one. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Roger, Roger. Mike 10. Mike 10, Mike 10. Oh, here we go. Just a tremendous play there late in the fourth quarter in a tie football game. And now it all comes down to the final seconds or overtime. Pruitt is back to receive. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. So it looks like four quarters wasn't enough. We're heading to overtime. Back to the action here, and we get ready for overtime. Steps out of bounds. Right around the eight-yard line. That makes it second and six. Well, that's how you want to start off an overtime period to put the touchdown on the board and put the pressure now on them. They know they've got to match this touchdown if they want to stay alive. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The Seminoles came into the game ranked third. That's not going to last. This one was tight. The Hokies get the W, 31-24. Reese, a touchdown difference in this one, 21-14. From the 25-yard line, first down. Let's go! He's under some heat. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. Jones was his intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Hey, D-line, let's get in there. Let's get in there, Harry. Mike 40, Mike 40. Ready? Ooh, 80. Zips it to the back. He's hit and taken down. That'll bring up third and four. 
So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. They come out in a five-wide set. Nearly intercepted. Caught open field. He's knocked out of bounds at the two. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they looked sharp before this one even started. Gets it out to him again. Touchdown, Tigers. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. Well, it's going to take another round at least. You can bet the coaches are going to look to be more aggressive on both sides of the ball. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's tackled at the 19. That'll make it second and four. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. Gaining three yards. That'll make it third and one. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. And he's taken down at the 17. That's a loss of one yard on the play. That'll make it fourth and two. Kicks up, and he got it. The kicker does his job, but now it's up to the defense. They're going to have to stand up and make a big stop. This is very nerve-wracking for both teams because now anything can happen on this second series of overtime. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. Complete brought down, nothing to it. Spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He's taken down at the 25-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. there they really just didn't have any room to work on that play the defense just suffocated them there so the kicker comes on and tries to send this to another overtime It's up, looks long enough. That's a tough way to lose. The only thing you could do is look forward to the next time that these teams go up against each other. And so that's going to do it. The Tigers come out on top, 14-14. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.